Bueno, mi gente, we are back at it again. We are back at it again. I feel like this is a rebooted version of my channel. I just feel like a brand new me right now, okay? And because of that, you know, I don't want to fall off my tutorials. So, you know, let's get into it. What are we covering today? We are covering Brother Juan. And when I say Juan, I don't mean Juan. I mean Juan. W-A-N. His real name is Juan. But everybody calls him Juan. And me and Juan. Let me tell you about Juan. Listen to me. Every barber has that homie that let them cut them. And it doesn't matter how it turns out. The homie is going to be there for you. And be willing to let you edge him up. Cut him down. Everything, man. That's Brother Juan. But it's not about the cut, though. I hope you understand. We go back. Like two flats on the Cadillac, baby. We go back. So as you can see, he wanted to chop it off. I looked at it. I took a close look. You know, you know, when you see your clients down, you wanna, you wanna observe what's going on. You wanna, you wanna check it before you get started, okay? And I checked it, I, uh, and I decided in my mind that I wanted to clean it as best as I could because, again, Juan, he's outdoorsy. He has a business where he's just out in the sun a lot, working with his hands. And, uh, you know, on this particular day, he had a long day. He, ain't, he didn't have enough time to go back home and, and get it cleaned up. So I said, you know what, brother? Don't worry. I got you. I got you. So we went ahead and got started with that. And, you know, when, when you wash, I mentioned this in one of my videos when I wash my hair. Fellas, I'm, I'm speaking to the fellas right now. Fellas, we got we to gotta dig in. You wash, you know what I'm saying? Rinse it. Shampoo it. Rinse it. Shampoo it again. And you might have to do it, you know, a third time, but that's, I'm going to leave that one up to you. But make sure at least you do two times. Let that be your go-to, okay? And then you follow up with a conditioner. And after that, you know, you rinse that with some cold water so it can lock it in. Lock all those nutrients in. Mira, towards the end, he said, yo, I want to try something new. Leave me three to four twists. I want to rock it this way, Fonz. I said, yo, you're on to something. Let's do it. And so we leave the twist. We get started. We grab our our our, uh, our clippers, in this case, the 5 op blade, and we're going to bald it out. We're going to bald it out, okay? Bald the area out. And for him, you know, I don't like the C-cup. I don't like the C-cup at all. So we're gonna go ahead at least for a mid, okay? We're gonna clear it out. His skin is a little dry, but don't sweat it. Don't sweat it at all. And while you're not sweating, we're gonna cut off the, the little twist. I was just playing about that. I just wanted to be a little dramatic about it. Who wants that in the front of their head? see the you see the blinking you see the blinking of the clipper our clipper is dying so now we are really racing time really really what racing time I, I gotta say this too I really don't miss using these clippers these clippers were literally making me dread cutting hair and I was being I was just being cheap for a few months I wasn't trying to buy clippers I was just like putting money into some camera equipment some lighting lenses all that stuff just me I'm I always put camera equipment first and I was not spending any money on tools I was always spending money on just the uh, you know the blades you know the the basics but tools like clippers I was being so cheap so so cheap 
and these clippers for some reason have had the worst battery life and i don't even think it's just the battery just something's wrong with them and i i've been meaning to send them back to babyliss and babyliss asked me for one of the like serial numbers and because it's a um it's one of those 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 special clippers that they they released through you know barber so i think this is like the rob the original clipper and the the serial numbers covered by the the, the paint because that's not the original color of that clipper right so now i can't even I, i'm gonna have to figure that out with them i don't want that's my problems that's not your problems guys i, I apologize i'm putting my problems on you I, I shouldn't have to put my problems on you let's let's keep focusing on the fact that this clipper's dying and i'm over here trying to fade for my life Man, I swear, like, the more I see this video, I'm just, like, going into the most nostalgic moment. Like, I remember having to cut Juwan before basketball games, and I, all I had was just, like, these cheap Walgreens trimmers, and I would use, like, a comb with that, and, and whatever, like, guards came with it, because I was, I, I always wanted to try barbering when I was in high school. Actually, even before that, like, the, I used to cut my own hair, or I used to, like, try to edge myself up. I never really went for, like, a full haircut, but I used to try things, right? And Juwan really, truly was the first person that just let me try, right? And, and I'm talking about even, like, color enhancements. Right after high school, I tried a few things, and 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 it's so dope to have friends like that and look look at this it's a whole different type of process like right here ladies and gentlemen i just want to say that and uh i don't think at this point i had the dryer did i have the dryer i don't know if i had the dryer did i have the dryer i think i used the the blow dryer i bought a hooded dryer i bought a hooded dryer from amazon and it only lasted for literally like three weeks to a month it was bad like it was good the unit worked, but the base where the wheels are broke so fast. I could not believe the fact that I fell in love with a system that I was starting to put together for waivers and all of a sudden it was just like stripped away. And then on top of that, the process to ship it back was insane. But look, I don't want to veer off too much. We're on the beard. Brother Juan right here, look, he's he's been he's been trying his best with, with his beard game, you know, and I'm over here just not trying to take too much away from it, right? So I am leaving it as natural as possible. I'm lining it up. He doesn't like it too low. I'm not using a shaver under there. I just want to say that. But now, as you can see, the the Nairobi laid the hair down. I'm spraying it. I'm prepping the edge area up. To line them up and have that area come out nice and crispy i'm a firm believer in coming back with a with the blow dryer to make sure that that product that hairspray along with the nairobi is completely dry you don't want any of that to be wet because you want the trimmer to cut through this as easily as possible so uh i'm, I'm right here just setting up the lines the vertical lines the horizontal lines stepping back you got to step back guys don't try to do this too close we're gonna go ahead and focus on this uh on this beard now there's times on beards where i feel like i can bring the half guard a little bit closer to the end of the of the ear but it just depends on the person like if the person doesn't have much density i hate really playing around with it um at least at that point now i feel like you know this this video is a few months old now i've been fading his beard a little bit lower i bring it down a little bit lower just because i just feel like his line all the way up to his sideburn isn't that prominent so at that point it's you know it's one of those things that you ask yourself let's see what else i could do with his beard you know to, to make it complement his face well and again juan is just a great person to cut i actually told him he's like the, the perfect canvas i told him this years ago because I, I mean from the way his hair fades to you know just the way he lets me try and do my thing bro he truly is the perfect canvas to to try a lot of different styles when you have a person like this be aware that certain things affect their skin for example like around the chin area i can't i don't use a razor anymore because he just bumps up so easily and uh a person like like juan he's gonna go and let you do your thing but don't take advantage of it to the point where you're affecting 
their skin in such a bad way because a lot of clients i've actually come across other barbers clients in the shop that have gone to the barber and they don't know any different the barber used a shaver on them and i go ahead and tell them hey i don't you know it's, it's best if you don't use a shaver and i don't i don't say it in a way to make the barber look bad i just recommend it and say hey try asking for just the trimmer not the shaver and let's see how, how your skin reacts to that right if you start realizing that you're not breaking out as much then you you know you come to the realization that there's no need for it right and barbers don't 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 shy away from doing that you know like don't just follow your system like we tend to just be like robots sometimes obviously we have our conversations and the day tends to be a little bit unique each day but as far as how we go about our cuts and being aware of how your client's skin is reacting to the cut is super important you know it's not just about the hair it's also the skin and juan's skin especially on his face super super sensitive to the razor in in certain areas so i i just do small taps i shout out to jp by the way on that jp always taught me to to make sure that when it comes to coming across skin like juan's is literally small taps around the areas that need to be cleaned up everything else you can get with the with the shaver not the shaver whoa i'm tripping with the trimmers and uh and after that you know you just go ahead and check your mirror <laughs> um so right here uh again i'm just tapping away as you can see like i already said it's tapping just small little taps you don't want you don't need to cover the whole area small little taps a little bit of detail here and there but not so much where it takes away and brings it so low i feel like that's another mistake I've made in the past where I just want the most defined line and I end up pushing the person's beard down. i rather have a less, more natural line and leave the beard more full. Most men want their beard full. We're not in a generation right now, at least in my area. At least in the barbershop I'm at, I rarely ever see men that ask for like a chin strap. It's just not the go-to, all right? It's not the go-to, so. Anyways, guys, let's take a quick look at how my man Juwan was looking when he walked in the shop. Yo. Guys, this is crispy though. Come on. Let's let's admit I'm in my bag on this one. Like Jawan got the works. Got his hair washed. Had a whole ritual to cut it down. You know what I'm saying? Put that Nairobi. We put that foam on him. We did some color enhancement on him. Like he got the works on this one. Oh, and make sure, you know, I didn't say it earlier about, you know, he, we're in a different age bracket. So we we leaving our mustaches a little bit, a little bit thicker, all right? You know, we ain't doing that genuine stuff out here, all right? We leave that to the younger crowd. We ain't doing all that. We keeping it nice and full, all right? But anyways, mi gente, if you like this video, make sure you put that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to focus. I'm gonna make a video on some new stuff, on, on what I'm doing in the in the barber industry. Um, and, and I wanna focus more on it. So anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. Hasta luego, me fui.